Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D. In this video, we're going to be using 2D assets to... If you want to know how to make these assets, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and leave a comment down below. First thing we need to do is enable image as plain add-on. So really simple, edit preferences, image. There we go. And I've already got it ticked. I'm going to shift right click to put my 3D cursor there. Let's go file, import, image as plain. Now I'm going to be using a video. So let's find our first asset, double click, and it is very tiny. So I'm just going to increase the size. And we can see at the moment that the background footage is not an alpha, it is actually black. So we need to do a little bit of composition to get rid of it. Now let's delete the principal BSDF shader and let's go shift A, search. I'm going to type in mix and we're going to add in a mix shader. There we go. I'm going to plug that straight into there. Let's get the color and the color goes into the factor. From here, shift A again. And we're going to go transparent, put that one in the top one. And as well, I'm going to go shift A, search emission, because we want this to be emissive and plug that in the bottom. Now, one thing as well, I am in cycles at the moment, but don't hold that against me because uh, this is the way it just looks the best. From here, color goes down into emission. And there we go. We've got our wonderful ghostly image of a fireball. Let's bump up that emission to maybe 50. And there we go. We can see that it's actually lighting the area, which is awesome. So at the moment, what will happen is down at frame one, the video will start playing. Bam. And then we go into explosion. So if we want to change that, we come into the image shader and we can choose our start frame. So I can start at frame 10. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Frame 13 should be there. Now what else we can do is we can kind of layer the explosion. So I can go shift D, rotate, and now we've got two explosions. However, they're exploding at the same time. Now I could just change the start frame, but that'll change it for both. So what we want to do is duplicate this material. And now I can go frame 13. It'll start the explosion. So we've got one explosion and then we've got our secondary explosion. Now, if we really wanted to, we can actually change the videos. So let's just click on the file button, um, find our second one. And we can see that our second video has now come in. Now it's starting at frame one, which is not what we want. So let's bring it back up to maybe here-ish. So frame, let's go 13. And then we're going to have some sparks. Let's kind of align these up. And if we wanted to, we could kind of scale that up. Let's just select the camera, which we do not have. Let's now give it a render and see what it looks like. And there you have it, a very simple way of using 2D elements within a blender. Much better than Mantaflow.